Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show two different ways of making a rainbow background using distress inks. Using the spotlight coloring that you see and a glitter foam sentiment, this makes a card that is cheery and easy to create. Let's get started. I forgot to mention it, but this card is going to be a celebration card for my cousin Lillian. She is in the Marines and awesome Lillian. She has gotten a wonderful promotion at her job. She's gone to an E6 now and she had a great video of her ceremony. It was really brought a tear to my heart to think how awesome she is and how wonderful it is for anyone who is serving our country. And she is really a wonderful lady and I wanted to do this special card to celebrate her accomplishment. The stamps I'm gonna be using today is Zoe Wood Shop Letters by Love Elsie, Stampin' Up's Perfect Pairings, Amazing You, and the matching die set Celebrate You. Very few materials in this card today. Creating a rainbow with distressed inks is extremely easy. I have taken all of the inks that I had and I've put them on my palette. This is just a piece of uh, cardstock which I have laminated to make it uh, wipe off. And I put all the colors that I need in place. I have some water here and some paper towels and my aqua pen. So the first thing you do is wet the paper because you get better results from wet on wet. You don't need too much, but just enough to get the color flowing when you go. And I'm just going to take my aqua pen, give it a little squeeze to get the water started. Oh, I want to go here. And just go streaking right across where I want it to, to be the first color. This is so easy to do. You just get your colors lined up in order before you start, and it just goes right through. So I've cleaned my, my brush and now I'm going to pick up the next color, which is of course the orange. And you want to overlap a little bit to the first color that you put down. And now that the colors are down, I'm just going to take my heat tool and dry this up. Now I put another piece of watercolor paper here and I'm using the Distress Stains. The, the Distress Stains come in a Dauber Top bottle and you can go direct to paper or you can do um, the palette first and then to the paper and this will give two distinct different looks and I'm going to show you both of them. As before you start off with a little bit of paper, a little bit of water on the paper and I need another paper towel. Now I'm going to try not to put too much water on this and you just pick up the color and lay it across. And if you got too much wood on the end, just stop it right off. And as before, blend the color up with the previous color so you get a smooth transition. Oh, I seem to have fingerprint of something on there. Oh, that is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, you can see a fingerprint there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Okay, so that's that. I'm going to dry this real quick. Let me see if I can rub that off. Yes, it came off. I must have had some Versamark on my finger and it has uh, transferred to the paper. I'm just going to add a little bit, of, a little bit of interest. So I'm going to dry this real quick and then I'll show you the direct to paper. I'm going to still wet the paper like I did for the first one because again the wet on wet is how you want to go with this and oh I didn't mention this is smooth uh, watercolor paper. So after you get the, the uh, thing wet you just go right across with the dauber and this is even easier than the other one okay I will not even have to slow this down just make sure you have your paints in order I have a streak of green across that I don't have the same colors that I had in the uh, panel um, the pads and you may notice that so I went ahead and put the color there and so now I'm just going to go through and just blend the colors gently cleaning it between because I don't want to contaminate the next color down and I'm using a lot of water here but it'll just add to the effect all right now I'm just going to dry this up and everything else will be the same Okay, there we go. Let me move, move this out of the way, make some room. So the direct, oops, the direct ink to paper uh, gave a deeper color, and I didn't go up as far as that because I'm just trying to show you how it looks different. So the distress stain and the regular distress inks get very similar because you're doing it the same way. But when you do the direct ink, the direct stain to paper, you get a more vibrant color so it's a matter of which you preferred if you had the um, Stampin up minis you could also do the direct to paper and you would get a similar very dark effect so next step I also did another one which I used a lot of water and a lot of color to give a more uh, true watercolor effect so you could decide which one you liked Now using the colors that I still have on my palette, I'm going to fill in the letters. So that's what the second row of colors was for. Okay, so I'll just go through and do each of the letters one by one. And there we go. Now I'm going to cut out my uh, die cut. I have a small piece of glitter paper and the die cut and I'm going to do this on my Gemini machine although you can do it on your Big Shot machine. I'm going to use my Gemini machine because it applies a little bit more pressure with this thick foam and I won't have as much trouble getting it out. So I'll be right back with this cut. Now that I have the die cut, I'm just going to put the rest of the card together. And that's the finished card. Really simple to create a watercolor rainbow. And I hope that you will try it yourself using whatever materials you have. You don't even have to have the same colors that I use. You can use any tone or any um, hue that you wanted to follow along with the rainbow. You could try with more pastel. You could try more bold colors uh, and more muted colors. The sky's the limit. I'd like to thank you for watching this channel hit that subscribe button and I really appreciate all the comments that I'm getting 
and I'd like to thank my brother David for the music that he's providing and I hope that you're enjoying that as well. And since I had the extra examples, I went ahead and made them up into full-blown cards. So I am going to give away the extra cards to you if you leave a comment for me down on my channel. I have to have your address in order to mail it to you, but please don't leave that on the, in the comment. Send me a private message about that. I'd like to thank you for watching again. And remember, leave a comment if you would like one of these free cards. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.